Ahoy gamers and welcome back to Creep World 4 as we play through the story. In this episode, we head back to what we think might be Mars. It is not Mars. And we gain the ability to use the mortar weapon, which is a really good weapon. We learn about miners, use the miners to gain an insane amount of power, and we learn about pylons which can push power over a further distance than towers. Without further ado, let's take out some creep. So we're back on Creeper World 4. It is a series as we do the entire main story and probably some of the challenge modes afterwards. So we're now on the third level, which is called Home. Here we will go. Let's go and play this mission. So I'll read out the text as it comes in. So Ada Analysis, to the Terrain Inconsistent, EM Spectrum Inconsistent, Isotropic. Yeah, fine. I'm sorry, uh, Doctor, the jump was successful, but we did not arrive at Mars. Scans of the surrounding terrain show structures, but they are inconsistent with known engineering. They're similar, but not identical to structures found in the previous world. If you'd like to try again, attempting jump drive restart, jump drive restart incomplete. So we have started. Select. So I can choose where I want to put down my um, my rift generator. Let's put you down. Ooh, where's going to be the best place? I think here might be pretty good. Put you there. Then initially, let's put down. Let's unpause the game. And I, I think I can. Yeah. So let's put you that way. Enemy of great remains. De great danger. Mortal of power must now. Nullify module. Corrupt error. Praise be the founders. Looks like we've got a new weapon into the mortar. Which is pretty interesting. We'll put that down in a second. First things first. Let's build up some of these towers. Uh, more lifted nice for those totems I have somehow um, somehow connected to. Maybe this is more awesome software. So I can some stuff it's asked me to go pick up. No, oh, this is one of these. Annoyingly, so I can build another tower just bam in the middle. So if I hold down shift, I can essentially drag where I want all the towers, which is really useful. I can drag you up there as well, bam. So I'm going to essentially focus on one side first. I'm going to focus on weakening this side. That's my intention. Then I'm going to essentially build up a bit of a defense on this side as well. And let's build some more structures. You can go just there. So I'm not too worried about covering. So I would normally, in the last episode, I wasn't too fussed about how uh, I lay down my towers. I'm still not too fussed. I, can, I found out that you can obviously hold down shift and draw a line of towers, which is really useful. But I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. So we do need to be worried about this gap just here. Let's build all these towers down. It's probably going to trigger people, but it's fine. Do need to worry about just here. There is a, essentially a gap. So let's build weapons, build some cannons. We'll build a weapon there. Build some cannons up here. I'm not sure whether these cannons are going to do anything. Let's build a line of cannons along here as well. So if I can essentially stop their spread along this northern northern kind of canyon that'd be awesome and if i can get some cannons down along here structures let's get some towers up here and then some towers up here as well looks like it's just a lake up the top there rather than a growing creep which is pretty useful because it means as it's just a lake it should be able to cut off from its source just up here so i'm gonna cut off from the source and build some towers cannons up around here. So I didn't manage to build one of those cannons in time, but now the creep should be stopping, so I'll be able to just fight or take care of it. I want to build myself a mortar, just up here. And we also have two mortars. I think they're going to be pretty useful to clearing out some of this deeper creep. But I think I want this. So I want to collect this. So to collect it, I think we need some heavy firepower. So we need to climb down these. Ah, oh, these are connected, there's tunnels. These tunnels, they connect everything. So it looks like the creep. I can't see where the creep is coming from. 
because normally the creep has a like spawn location but we'll worry about that shortly because uh, their spawn location you can normally see it's quite obvious but I'm going to build as many of these as I can just to fill up I know I'm obviously not being very resourceful with my, my resources but it's okay I'm not going to lose much sleep over this but that one will really annoy me that's built in a completely wrong location Yeah, so just build these all the way to the end. Build these all the way up around. This is where I'm going to use the shift method just to speed up and put them down. Use the shift method once again to get, try and fill up all this gap. There you go, that'll do. I'm starting to eat away at these down here. And the mortar's starting to eat away there. It looks like this. This is relatively successful, so I can now just build towers all the way around. Uh, build some towers up here. I don't think this lake's going to, this lake will slowly grow from here. So with that in mind, let's build a cannon just there. Let's build a cannon just here to slowly eat away at all of this. And I don't think the cannons uh, can shoot down big distances. That's why you want the mortar. So I'm going to build a couple mortars around here. Um, knowing that I'm not placing these very well. There we go, place those up there. So I'm just going to cover as much of this map as I can with my power poles. And then build some mortars around. Probably mortar up here will be useful. We can eat back the creep down here. It looks like that's where the creep's coming from, the emitter. So we can try and take as much uh, of the creep away from the emitter, the better. I'm not really sure what the range of the mortar is at the moment. So if I click on one, it doesn't actually have a range. I'm assuming it's a relatively large range, but that just be me guessing. And here, so we're having these slowly eat away at the creep down here. If I get this second tower up, that'd be really useful. Build some more mortars slightly closer to the creek down here. That should put me in a relatively good position, and I may as well just build some more towers down here as well. Just so I can take get as much power as possible. There we go. So I'm a bit worried, I'm not worried, but a little bit conscious of this up here. And also my power to spend ratios pretty large so once I've got all this built uh, I can build some up here as well and that, that does reach across which is quite nice and I can build just a couple mortars up here as well and potentially get this to cover along here that's awesome and may as well grab some of this land down here as well So I'm pretty happy of how it's going all along here. Uh, it looks like this way is completely empty. So I'm just going to keep those guys up there. There's no point moving my troops down with my towers down. I'm just going to claim some of this area. It looks like the creep does come through these. So if I can probably move one cannon or two cannons down there just to watch the entrances of these two. Yeah, because it comes from these. So if I can essentially take out as much as I can, it looks like this grows the, the creep itself. So taking that out would mean that the creep won't grow elsewhere. So this could actually be a relatively quick level, in theory. Unlike the previous couple of levels, well, the previous level, I should say, because the first tutorial level, I can't really speed that up, unfortunately. Gonna grab some more of this land just to get some more energy. Du -du -du -du. A hierarchy archive, common format, execute modules, install and execute. Yes. Hierarchy active, creeper threat identified, mission priority nullification, or other priorities suspended. What? I was expecting more cult virus joy. Instead, I got combat software. Why well, don't? Don't actually mind some combat software. Um, so we can move these. Once all this is built, we'll just move some of these down. There you 
we go. So that should hold back that creep there. And this creep down here has been absolutely decimated. So let's build some more towers going all down here. Okay, so I think next time, or next level I play, needs to just be careful of my usage of power. Or at least to start off with. So obviously it wasn't an issue, well it's not an issue now, but to start off with I think I was a bit overzealous with my power usage. Again, move all these a bit closer. So that's all dealt with, this one's dealt with. So now I've got to build near the nullifier, uh, nullifier um, build the nullifier near this great enemy. So nullifier, so let's see, oh that actually opens up a wiki if I press H, that's interesting. So I need to build a nullifier close to it. With that in mind, let's build a couple of structures near nearby. Looks like whatever this red stuff was. I don't know what this red stuff is. It doesn't actually tell me. Uh, but I'm going to build a couple more weapons nearby, essentially just to stop this creep. And that should be enough. And just build another couple more mortars just in case. So it looks like I have done the activating the totems, so my jump jet will now work. Nullifier. I can now build a nullifier up here, and that should. Okay, I won't build a nullifier up there. Now my turrets are working, or cannons are working. It should allow me to place this. And the nullifier is very slowly being built. It requires 50 to be built. That was my sending as many build things to this as possible. Once that's complete, that should nullify this and that should be the end of this mission. Seven, six, one, a few more bits left. There you go, now it needs energy. It's loading up with some energy. It needs, I don't, know, I don't actually know how much energy or ammo it needs. And there we go. Hierarchy active. Totems activated. Citation granted. Um, continue mission to eradicate creeper. Mission priority. Find and nullify. All other priorities suspended. Okay, sure. Let's just see if we can make it to Mars this time. So let's go use the rift jump. Rift jump, go. Been, um, rift jump's been activated. So let's go to the exit. Well, let's exit that mission. Let's go to the next one. So... This next one's called Not My Mars. So this place had a hard life. Let's go have a look. Uh, energy generation failure. Solian offline. System rebooted. Reboot complete. Sensor state validation fault. Location ver uh, verification for Mars. Unable to compete. Uh, complete. Arrival at Mars complete. Welcome home, Doctor. I am boop. Contact Rift Lab support. So we are clearly not home. So looking at this map, it looks like there's a creeper creation there. There's a tunnel to push creeper across. There's another cre creation there. A couple totems. There's a totem in that there as well. Okay, it's good to know. Let's put our creation guy just down here. Our rift. And then let's unpause this. So it looks like we have a couple weapons. Creeper emitters identified in system. Resource uh, terrain located. Enabling minor technology. Mission priority nullification. All other priorities suspended. Okay, I'm calling you Sarge. What are these miners? And yeah, this lo looks just like Mars. This terrain looks like it's made of uh, made for the miners. Uh, ready to take miners with the O. Okay. Interesting. Not sure what I use miners for just yet. These look like Mars Core Energy Store Ultra Caps. Looks like I can essentially store energy now. However, look, I'm not sure whether I have to get my energy from the miners or I get the energy from the towers. Because if I use a tower now, it doesn't actually give me anything. Like before, I think our building's now linked to the miners rather than linked to the towers. Miners active. Miners produce energy within range to accomplish nullification. Operator responsiveness acceptable. Mission priority nullification. All other priorities suspended. So miners 
also make energy. That's convenient, given Ada broke my solvent fields. Uh, how do I get off this island? Solvent fields, I guess, is what powers these towers. Let's see if I can get... Okay, I can't. Don't just... I don't quite have the range for that just yet. Solvent offline. Uh, correction module un, uh, unfound. Pylon necessary. Integrate. Quest on go. Praise be found. As I thought Sarge overwrote you. Guess I'm stuck with the Preacher, too. Pylons. The Mars Engineer Corp will be proud. So let's get rid of you. Let's see if I can build a pylon here. I can build a pylon there. I can build a pylon just up there. Which is great. That allows me to actually... That's not what I wanted to build there. I guess pylons are just stronger. Um, sorry, I'm just building these. Don't have to be quiet here. A pylons are just stronger um, of these. Uh, stronger than the normal towers. I'm just going to build as many of these as I can, because uh, it makes sense to build them, because they, they produce me my power now. It's going to really annoy me, because it's not in line. And down here, I'm going to build do exactly the same down here. Destroy you. There you go. Now I'm going to build all the way up here. And press O to rotate. Bam. And bam. Let's build all of you just along here. Bam, bam. There you go. So I think that might work. Let's build a tower just in here. I think. Okay, that tower reaches that one. That reaches all of them. Okay, good. Right, now let's start looking at some weapons, shall we? Let's build some mortars. Just so I can start clearing some of this area. Not sure how many more I'm going to probably need, but more the merrier, that's for sure. And how far can my pylons reach? So they can't quite reach over there. Can they reach down here? No, they can't quite reach down there either. So I'm going to have to do like a, a staging area down here. It looks like the creep has to come from this northern area. So as long as I can cut this area in half, we should be more than more than fine. Once again, there is an emitter here, so we will need to nullify that when we can. And it's look like, can I build a pile on just there and can I build across? No, that doesn't quite work. It's worth a try. I'm going to try and increase the power to these. Okay, that's working really well so far. Just because the amount of um, amount of mortars we've got, they're just clearing the creep up really quickly. Now I want a pile on down here. Just there. If I can create this pile, I'll build a, a, some cannons. They can start clearing up this creep down here. That'd be, that'd be ideal. That's, just at the moment, there's a bit too much creep. Probably build one there. Build one there. One there. Uh, that means that I need to build a tower down here. Which is not at the moment. Let's finish building these. I could probably build some towers just down here. First, I need to be able to build a, build a tower down there. And that is destroy you and build some cannons along here. Three cannons should do just there. Okay, maybe three cannons won't do just there. Let's try and build those again. Now, down here, let's build another mortar. Do they have an emitter here? No, so this creep here, you can slowly see it fading away, like dropping in height. So we are slowly beating this creep down here. What I want to do is build a pylon just here, a pylon just up here, so I can do exactly the same with this creep here, so we can kind of cut off this pipe. Let's build a couple, build a mortar there, and then let's build a couple mortars up here. By a couple, I mean a lot. Okay, our mortar platform is relatively stacked. We see how well they do. You see up here, we're slowly pushing these guys back. Let's build another pylon. So let's build a pylon just to the south here. And we can connect that pylon. Once that pylon's connected, just there. Okay, once that pylon is somehow connected, once I've figured how to connect it up. So we put another cannon just here. 
put at least one more cannon there. It should hold back this creep pushing just to the south. There, there we go. All these mortars are just firing away. I'm going to move both cannons slightly further here. This just needs to be wiped up. It's not really much of a threat. Now I'm going to build another cannon just there just to clear up all this um, creep that's coming down here because it obviously flows downhill or down a canyon because it's fluid based. And let's build another pylon just here. Do you want to know so I can use this totem? It looks like I might be able to finally connect these up. If I, can, if I can, once this one's built here, I'll move, or I'll build another cannon just to the south. We we'll slowly inch our way across. I'm not sure what this red stuff is, so we'll just move these guys further up. This, this mortar should be able to clear out these as well. I don't, I don't need to clear all of this out. I just kind of want this totem to be ready to be used. And now we've unlocked this up here. Let's build a couple cannons up here. Okay, let's just build one cannon up there. That's all I want, I guess. And you can start clearing away up there as well. See if I can build a mortar. Nope, can't build a mortar there. So now this creep, not too worried about it. So I can now move these guys back up here. Build almost like a firing line up here with the pylons. And you can slowly inch them forward. The pylon, let's build another pylon just here. Move you down to there. There we go. I know that guy is not going to have any power just yet. I can move you there as well. So that should clear away a lot of this. It's now my new warriors up here. Well, not so much a worry. I can move some of you, these mortars down just to so they can start firing again. There we go. That should be more than enough on the front now. I need you to get close enough to this emitter just to be able to use the nullifier. Let's see how... Okay, I need to be relatively close to this pylon just because of how the pylons work. So now let's see if I can get a pylon slightly closer to the front line here. I can. Let's move you further up. And you further up than yourself. Slowly moving the cannons up. As I move the cannons up, I can move up the mortars as well. Okay, down here has essentially been cleared out. I'll move this guy there. And then I can move these cannons up here as well. Just make sure that they remain in range so they can keep getting supplies. Yeah, that's all of that creep there has been dealt with. And then let's bring these guys further forward. Okay. A little bit out of range there, so if I put a tower just there and a tower in between there, they'll all get power. I don't need any of these guys up here. Let's move you. You don't get any power anywhere, unfortunately put you up there for the time being. That will be our next push anyway. And let's bring a cannon across. We'll put a power pole here. And I'll put a couple mortars in the back here and a couple cannons just to help us start clearing up this creep that's kind of grown, this ocean of creep has grown here. So I wouldn't mind some of these lift uh, so I can start powering up these uh, totems. And I should be able to nullify this sometime soon. Okay, he's out of range anyway, but I should be able to nullify him relatively soon. Do need to start thinking about essentially cutting off this pipe here. So obviously, although we're killing a lot of them, they're going to keep appearing through this pipe. Okay, that's all clearing up very, very to be nicely. So our next weapon is nullifier. Okay, I need to get a lot closer. So that's as close as I, I need to get, but obviously I'm not doing enough damage down here. So I can bring the front line up again. Bring some of these mortars up as well. I'm going to bring the front line as close as I can to that uh, emitter. There we 
go. Just like that, you guys can jump up as well. And this is going really smoothly. You guys can go down here and clear all that as well. And you can help assist this northern push. I say northern push. This top part area, this area, I should say. Boom, there we go. Drop there. So now I build a pylon just here. Pylon will connect to this. And then as I don't need that so much power, I can then build the towers across. In just in case something goes wrong, I've got towers coming back as well. That's all that side dealt with. Build a nullifier. No, nope, that's a miner. Let's build a nullifier down this hole here. So now, essentially block off this area. Once this is blocked off, once these, these are built, these cannons will then move up. Well, these my cannons are already moving up anyway. Nullifier is almost finished. So that's towers done. We'll just use our current amount of uh, cannons we've got here just to clear this area up. Let's bring up two mortars. There we go. So this should be dealt with any second now. We've now got all these. We've got this totem has been activated. We've just got the other totem just over here and we've got this emitter. We've got two totems to deal with. So that's now been nullified, which is good. So now we can focus on moving our front line to the other side of the map. So there we go. Let's bring some of these cannons across as well. And then let's start bringing these mortars as well. As long as they keep powered up, we should be okay. We have got a lot of uh, mortars at the top there, so I'm not too worried about the cover. So this creep shouldn't push too much further towards me. go. Move some more of these. Got another one to move. Put this one down here. Let's build a tower to make sure he's powered. There we go. We should do it. And then we get some mortars. Put, some, uh, put, put mortar down. There. I don't know how effective that mortar will be. But let's keep moving everything further and further towards the enemy base. So we want to aim for this emitter here. That is our goal. Once we start clearing out some of this, you can just about see kind of the ripples coming through. We we'll start clearing all this out. This will make life a lot easier. Bring another mortar up. Bring these cannons over as well. Got a few more cannons to bring across. Uh, we now need to start thinking about fuel in the front line. Bring a couple towers up here. Now I can I will leave those guys there just in case something goes wrong. Let's bring a mortar up here. If something goes wrong, I don't really want to just suddenly uh, panic. Have to worry about everything reappearing. There we go. Bring a cannon up here. As long as I get the high ground up here, I'll be happy. So I just want another tower there. Probably another tower there. That's all of the creep in this corner dealt with. We need to really need to push into this. So as long as we take as much of this out as possible, we should be in a really good place. I'm gonna put another mortar down in this this hole down here. And probably move one of these cannons to this area here as well. So if I can essentially power through with all my cannons, I will. Go. Bring you up here as well to help clear out all this creep. And bring you over here. 
It's looking quite promising. They're going to build another line of towers just on our front line. There we go. That should be enough. Once these towers are built, I'm going to then move my cannons forward another line or another row. And so we've got active, uh, we've got this totem up here as well. Okay, that, that's on lines. Let's move you up. You can now move up as well. Slow but steady, methodical push. And as long as they, a sudden surge doesn't just randomly appear, we should be more than okay. And as I push those up, let's start pushing up some more of these mortars as well, just to give the cannons a little bit more support. I don't think the cannons are going to need it because they've done a really good job on their own. Now our economy can sustain this, so we should be more than fine. And what we're going to do now is just support the front line again with some more towers. Yeah, these guys I should be able to push quite far. Uh, peace initiative, uh, common form executable modules found, uh, 16 corrupted, install and execute 42 of the archives. Yep, we wouldn't have it any other way. Constant active, scanning for peace opportunities, challenges identified. We are, ha we are happy to render assistance, solient, fields reactivated, uses energy to negotiate. Go in peace, traveller. We thought the universe would be teeming with intelligence. We thought we, we would learn from it, but covered and but covered in an insane AI. Whatever, I'll kill, call you Hippie. Good name for an insane AI, Hippie. Let's drop, move these further forward as well. And you should be able to go right to this edge here, and then this mortar should be able to back you up from darkly from behind. And as they go forward, this cannon can go forward. Once the cannon's landed, I'll move these two mortars as well. Boom. boom. Another cannon forward, another cannon, and mortar to move forward. See how I can get, well, see how I'm addicted to this game, Just because it's it's slow, methodical, but it's exactly how I like playing my games. There's no rush, you know, the more you rush, the more likely you are to make a mistake. So it just, just makes sense, just take your time. So nullify him. So I, there, he's in route, he's in range to hit that, which is awesome. I will have to try and pull around this southern flank here, uh, just to try and capture this totem. Once I take this totem, this nullify will probably be done by the time I take the totem anyway. Maybe we'll see. There's a lot of them down here. There's a, there's a very thick creep here. So we'll move these guys red forward quite quickly. I was just talking about being slow and methodical now. I'm talking about rushing to get to uh, push forward. But I think it's, it was mainly because we're we've essentially cutting off this uh, this emitter here. Oh, I didn't want to send all of you. No. Didn't know that was a thing. One objective completed. So nullify both of these. So now I just need to get to this totem. Which, the speed at which we've taken out all of this creep down here won't take too long. There we go, we should get it very quickly here. With both of these towers being built, we're just mopping up the last of the creep. And then we activate three or four totems once this is done. Almost completed. There you go, it's getting all of the all of the lift or lift deck. That is now complete. So all four totems are have been activated. And we've now gained the ability to rift jump. So let's rift jump and complete this mission. Not my Mars completed. Let's exit mission and back to the main menu. Well back to the menu to decide or well, to look at the next mission, which called Ruins Repurposed. So that is the end of this episode of 
episode number two of Creep World 4. Really good game. Absolutely loving it so far. If you made it this far, thank you much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and peace out.